Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about a whole new different topic and these are the five bags that makes you look rich. Now before any one of you gets offended, no, if you don't have any of this bag, this doesn't make you look poor. Help me, I'm poor. Uh, this is just a sharing of my personal experience and uh, these are the bags that ultra rich clients usually buy. I'm really rich, I'll show you that in a second. <laughs> in my experience in working with luxury brand, particularly in Louis Vuitton. Please take this with a pinch of salt. These are just based on my experience. Neither do I have this bag. So uh, I just want to share to you uh, just for entertainment and uh, education point of view. So yeah, just keep on watching until the end if you are interested to know. Just a quick one, if you're new to the channel, my name is Murphy and currently as I'm recording this video, I am a sales advisor here in Louis Vuitton, Singapore and this channel is all about Louis Vuitton products, Louis Vuitton updates, luxury brands in general. So if you are into this kind of thing and you want to keep yourself updated, please do not forget to subscribe. All right, so let's start with uh, number five. So I am going to start with the lowest tier to the ultimate rich girl bag so starting with the seasonal collaborations so uh, i am talking about yayui kosama for nasetti sun Tian, which is the latest one and uh, carl lagerfield and these are just a few of the collaborations that we have with artists and um, most of our top tier clients are willing to spend on this for the sake of having the collection or because maybe they admire or they genuinely love the artist behind it. Uh, this bags, whether it's leather or canvas, the prices are about 30% markup from the original classic design. What I'm trying to say is that a Neverfull bag in a normal monogram could be um, 2 8 nine zero Singapore dollars but if you will look at the Sun Etian with a, a 3d rabbit print on it or patched on it it's going to be four thousand SGD and I'm also gonna send I'm go also gonna share the price in USD since a lot of you are watching this from US and uh, the Yuyui Kusama can go up to four thousand four hundred this YK also known as Yui Kusama collaboration was last year in January and it has been a very very huge artist collaboration I mean who doesn't know Yui Kusama if you are into fashion brand so yeah just that's what I'm trying to say you can ask yourself if you would pay a thousand five hundred SGD extra for a patch of a rabbit to your monogram bag okay number four is the hard to get pieces ultra limited pieces numbered pieces uh, these are the items that are mostly allocated like you will not you cannot even order it as a walk-in you cannot come to the store and say you want to buy it because it will never be available as a uh, selling piece on the selling floor so i'm talking about uh, for example the pumpkin bag again from yayui kosama if i'm not mistaken in singapore itself there are only eight pieces and uh, these bags are mostly allocated already or uh, the the people that will get this bag are already chosen by the central not even the store but the paris team uh, what are the bases? I am not sure. I have an idea, but I'm sorry. My husband disrupted me. I told him he disrupted me. Oops. I told him he disrupted me from my flow. So uh, if I repeat my word, I'm so sorry. Okay. So uh, yeah, as I was saying with this um, hard to get pieces, uh, they're mostly allocated by the uh, central team, which is the Paris team. And uh, for you to get this bag, you should be at the kind of top clients of the stores somehow and uh, for some people who are not uh, uh, maybe a, a top spender or um, a high tier client in the store and manage to get this i would be 100 percent sure that they get it from maybe a s reseller like a secondhand market which the price would be three to five times more and they're willing to get it because of the status you will get from this difficult numbered bag there are a lot more bags that are like numbered, like for example, the artsy cappuccines. Uh, I don't remember what else, but in my seven years, there are quite a lot. 
now I forgot them already. Okay, number three is the trunk bag. I mean the hard-sided bag. This does not include the side trunk, okay? Side trunk is a soft-sided bag. Uh, some hard-sided bag comes with a canvas soft side collection. I'm not talking about this one. I'm talking about really the trunk bags. For ladies, for example, is the petite valise and the camera box. The camera box, not the canvas like this. This is the camera box, which is the hard sided, which is heavy and not practical. The price points of this bag are usually uh, 10,000 SGD and above. And um, I would say that these are more of an event bag or a show bag. Most people who buy this bag not out of practicality usually have money to spare <laughs> for a bag like this. Ah, the sweet smell. A lot of my viewers know that I am in love with trunks, anything but trunks, like real trunk. I love because of the history and the heritage that backs up on it. It's another uh, video for the history of trunks. I always wanted to do that video, but it's just too much research. Uh, moving on. So yeah, trunk bags, if uh, you come to the store and you have it, of course, we know that you have a uh, spare money to, to buy this uh, unpractical bag and you have more bags that are practical at home. So this bag is in my top three list. Number two is the cappuccines. And yes, a lot of people are opposed to this bag because also not very practical, but we have to accept that the cappuccines are a premium bag in Louis Vuitton. So if you are coming to the store with a cappuccines bag, we know that you have somehow has a deep pocket because the price of cappuccines nowadays is, if I'm not mistaken, the cheapest one would be 8,600. And uh, yeah, no one will save 8,600 just to buy an impractical small mini cappuccines like this just to pretend or to show off. It means that you probably have a deeper pocket than the usual if you have a cappuccines bag. So yes, cappuccines bag is number two on my list. Number one, the top tier of all, and I'm talking about leather goods. And uh, these are the exotic skins, uh, starting with ostrich, lizard, and the croco. The croco is the greatest of them all. If you have a croco bag, if you enter the stores, or if I see you on the street having a Louis Vuitton croco bag, people know that you're someone. Croco bags are usually 30,000 SGD and above. Nothing lower than that. Or if I'm not mistaken, it's 30, the, the cheapest I've seen or the most affordable I've seen is 36K SGD. I might be wrong, but yeah. Uh, for ostrich, it's usually 11,000 Singapore dollars and above. So um, yeah, just like cappuccino, no one will save money out of their paycheck to buy a bag like that. So uh, buying one piece of this will put you in the category of VIP immediately for a year. And um, most of uh, existing high tier client, VIP clients, uh, high spending clients that are regular in the store has more than two of uh, exotic bag. And um, yeah safe to say that you you have a deep deep pocket if you have this bag so yeah i want to know your opinion about these five bags that i discussed maybe you own one tell me about your experience about it and uh this is just my personal opinion in my day-to-day -day life as a sales advisor in louis vuitton and these are uh yeah the bags that usually VVVIP clients uh, purchase or have. So uh, just sharing with you, there's no pressure. You don't have to have this bag to look rich or to feel good about yourself. Because as I say, the most important thing in buying a bag is that you love it and you feel good about it. A luxury bag or a handbag in general is an extension of your style and it doesn't have to be dictated by the society or by this video. This is just a simple sharing and uh, I hope I keep you entertained and uh, tell me what's your opinion about this uh, video. I have nothing more to say. It's already very late here as you can see from the window. So I would say goodbye and I will see you on the next one. Bye.